Hello, Gladys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How good are evening. you? Fine, and you? Good, good. Okay, are you guys ready? Listos? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So let's go. Let's go to the lesson. Now, um, yesterday we talked about uh, using relative clauses with. Uh, with subject first and then object. So, for example, hicimos unos ejemplos. Uh, we did, for example, we used these uh, subject clauses. For example, one thing that I love about Guatemala is the Aurora Sur. Y después le dimos vuelta. Empezamos con el object. The Aurora Sur is one thing that I love about Guatemala, okay? So we finish uh, with, empezamos aquí en esta misma orden, subject, relative, clause, verb to be, and then object. But then we can flip it, we switch it. La Aurora Su is, y después tenemos que brincar al subject, one thing, that I love about Guatemala, okay? Yeah, ayer hicimos unos, unos examples, right? I, I gave you a list for you to, to check it out. So, I have some here that you can use. Le voy a mandar este cuadrito so that you can fill it up. For example, here, the beautiful beaches is one thing that I miss about uh, about the beautiful beaches is one thing that I miss about vacations. Okay, or the beautiful beaches is one thing that I love about Costa del Sol. The the beautiful beaches is one thing that I love about Costa del Sol. So, I mean, you can, you can change it, right? Y después, aquí estoy poniendo el, el object primero y después estoy poniendo el, el, el relative clause. ¿Pudiera darle vuelta a esto? Yeah. Empiezo con one thing that I love is the beautiful beaches in Costa de Sol. So, le puedo dar vuelta también, right? So, quiero que practiquen, right? You can write it, you can practice it if you want, okay? I'm going to share it with you and let's work on this for groups. Now, here, eh, yo no lo estoy guiando, si ustedes van a poner sus propias ideas, vocabulary that, that we saw in the video, you can use curious, curioso, curious about, anxious about, nervous, comfortable, miss, love, like, enjoy, hate, y otros verbos, right, that you guys can use. Okay? Alguien me dice si puedo compartirlo como word. Um, sí, solamente que WhatsApp muchas veces no reconoce el formato de Word. Les digo ya un solo, puede que no lo puedan abrir. Eh, Microsoft y, y WhatsApp no se llevan como empresas <ríe> y no, pues, no, se puede, no se pueden abrir. Yo he mandado PowerPoint presentations y tampoco, no se pueden abrir. All right, very good. So let's go to groups and let's practice on this exercise, okay? We have nine people, let's go to Grupo de tres, all right? Go to the Zoom so you can accept the invitation.
Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Listos? Ya vieron el, el, el picture? Yes. yes. What's up? Now. Okay. Alguien tiene compu? Yes, I, I have. Okay. Maybe you can open the document that I sent in Word. Lo mandó en Word, ¿verdad? Ahorita lo acabo de ver, no lo había visto. Tal vez, tal vez funciona, porque... Sí, sí, en la compu sí funciona, en el celular. Ah. Lo que hay que hacer es, a veces, compartirlo eh, como en el Drive. Y ahí uh -huh. lo puede ver. Ah, ok. Pero en el campo sí que no, no hay problema. Can you see? Yes, I can see. Yeah. So, for example, the first one, the beautiful, the beautiful beaches yes. are something that I I miss. Mm -hmm. It's something that I miss, and then you can describe something that I miss about. Um, something that I missed, that I miss about the pandemic, or mm -hmm. about okay. Bef uh, something that I miss. Before the pandemic. Before the pandemic. Okay. So after that, le puede dar vuelta, right? How can you flip it? Okay. So yeah, would be something that I miss before the pandemic is or are the beautiful beaches. Mm hmm. In El Salvador. In, in El Salvador, ahí está. La Libertad. Ok. Perfect. All right, so, ¿quién lo va a escribir? ¿Saraí? Oh, eh, no están viendo lo que estoy compartiendo, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Mm, no, no eh, nos quedamos okay. en la primera eh, imagen. Okay. Sí, aquí está. Ahora sí. Ah, sí. ahora sí, perfecto. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Okay, so the I saw look at you. Uh huh. They are the beautiful fish. Mm hmm. Ahí está. Very good. Okay. Ricardo, bienvenido. Good evening. Thanks. Okay, do you hey, remember this? Uh, I don't know if you were here. No. No. Okay. Ya viste el video 5.4, 5.3. Ya eh, viste el video? Sí, sí, pero no, no. Eh, no, no recuerdo. Okay. So, estamos usando eh, relative clauses. Okay. Eh, for example, aquí vas a ver en la primera, the zoo is something, or you can say is one thing. Okay. That I yeah. love about what the matter. Okay. okay. Now, eh, aquí simplemente te vas a tener incorporar. Lástima que no, no estuviste para la clase de ayer. Eh, pero síguele el hilo, si tú puedes. Si tú ves, estamos usando el sujeto, eh, the beautiful beaches, and then we use eh, un clause, for example, is something. 
or it is one thing. And then you continue. Okay. okay. Uh, that should uh, continue with the, the example that you said. That the should is a thing that I like about Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And the then. Uh, is one thing. that I like of Guatemala. Okay. And then at the reverse, uh, one thing that I like of Guatemala is the zoo. Mm -hmm. Very good. También pueden usar la frase about. One thing that I love about Guatemala. Eh, okay. About quiere decir acerca de. Ok. Ok. Very good. So, try to finish there. The exercise. Denle en vuelta. Maybe Ricardo, maybe you can do one. Okay. Uh, camping in the outdoors is something that I used to do when I was on the university. Okay. Okay. It's something that I do. That I used to do. I used. That to, I used. You said. To do. Uh huh. University. When I was in the university. When I was in the. Okay. Do we have to do it the reverse way? Uh huh. Oh, so, I have, okay. so something that I uh -huh, something that I used to do when I was in the university. It's camping, camping. Mm -hmm. in the outdoors. Okay, looks good. Okay, very good, very good, Ricardo. Excellent. Okay, so continue next. Okay. okay. In the next. Okay. ¿Quién está escribiendo? Stephanie. ¿Ya hicieron la primera? Okay. Eh, la van a escribir allí en. en en Word o van a compartir solo aquí en, en, en los mensajes. Hello, hello, están ahí? Yeah, I am here. Uh, maybe uh, Stephanie, you can read in the read. Stephanie, do you want to write? Hello, hello. Abner, are you there? Alex, Stephanie? Yeah, yeah, I am, I am here. <laughs> Hi, good evening, I'm here. However, it's raining. The scene okay. is not good. Bueno, Stephanie's sharing, but she's not answering right now. Uh, so why don't you guys go and finish the sentence? 
Number one, finish and then you write. Okay. Hi, sorry. Uh, I okay. left the computer just a minute. Okay, okay, no problem, Stephanie. Uh, so you're gonna have to help us write, okay? Okay, okay. So, yeah, no problem. All right, so I even, yo lo mandé en Word también, por si lo okay. quieres hablar en Word. That you can write, all right? For example, number one, the beautiful beaches is something that I miss about the, or something that I miss about life okay, before la libertad. Okay. The beautiful beaches is something that I miss about la libertad. And then I can switch it. Le puedo dar vuelta, right? Something that I miss about the La Libertad is the beautiful beaches. Okay. Okay. Okay, so quiero que hagan los dos. So, Stephanie, you're going to write. Alex, Amner, okay. ustedes van a dar los ejemplos. All right? Okay. Okay. Um, the first one. Uh, something that I miss. Yes. Something uh, that I miss about, about la libertad mm -hmm. are the beautiful beaches. Uh, is. Or Vamos is. A is uh -huh, porque corresponde a something. Okay. Okay, ahí está. Mm -hmm. The beautiful beaches are something. Is something. Sorry. Is something I miss. Ah, aquí, hay que, ten, aquí hay que tener cuidado porque estamos hablando de beaches. Aquí el subject es diferente. Okay. The, the beautiful beaches is. No, puede dejarlo así, está bien. Is okay. something I miss okay. about la libertad. Okay. Okay, looks good. Very good. Okay. Okay, so uh, your turn. Abner. Okay, uh, something that I really miss about Guatemala is the Safari Shopping Zoo. Okay. Okay. Well, are you going say yes? Maybe you have to repeat it. Okay, very good. Finish? Yes. Okay, so aquí tienen, la, eh, terminaron, está bien. Solo que ahora traten de escribirla con el subject primero. For example, number one, the beautiful beaches is one thing that I, that I love. Ah, okay. Si quieren, terminen la frase así como yo la empecé. En el cuadrito de la, de la izquierda. Okay. The beautiful beaches is one thing that I love about La libertad. Very good. So vamos a ver, vamos a, a compararlo con el, con el que está al lado. One thing that I love is the beautiful beaches in la libertad. Ok. Okay, very good. So now you finish the ones in the in the left. Ahí. Okay. Y ya, ahí ya tienen el object y el subject. Okay. Okay. One thing yeah. that makes me feel nervous is coming outdoors. Okay. Outdoors. Camping. One thing that makes me 
feel nervous. Okay. Um, the, let me check. Something that I love. Uh, the city is going to the shopping mall. Okay, in my cup, something that I really hate is taking a road trip. Why? Because it's very exhausting for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. It's oh, so sad. I miss that. <laughs> taking a road trip. Yes. Okay. I guess he is Alex Turn. Ah, I mean, I guess it's in the yes. chat, right? Yes. Okay. She wrote in the chat. Sorry. The thing that I miss the most is going to the movies. Okay. Okay. Well, the next one. The next one is the turn. Here. Okay, very good. Okay, algunos terminaron la mayoría or at least you you practice, right? Okay, so basically that is the lesson that you had for, um, let me see, that was uh, section 5.3. Uh, 5.3 and 5.4. It was that, that same video. Okay? Entonces, prácticamente, ahí está la lección. So you guys did very good. Let's go to the next lesson, 5.7. Okay? So, um, no, le, no le voy a dar play a todo el video, sino que vamos a hacer una actividad. Okay? But first, let me share my computer with you. Okay? Okay. So, uh, this is the video that he was explaining how to talk about expectations, okay? Eh, si ustedes se dan cuenta, toda la sección 5 fue casi como tema de, de vacación, traveling, visiting another country, eh, something, casi todo el tema tiene que ver con eso, section 5. Um, so, expectation. Let's say, for example, that you go to another country, Eh, un país así bien extranjero como Japan. Let's say you go to Japan, okay? And there are customs, there are uh, rules, etiquette, ethic that applies to that country. So you can say, 
when you visit someone, it is a custom to bring a small gift. Okay. Eh, y aquí podemos agregarle Japan, for example. When you visit someone in Japan, it's a custom to bring a small gift. Or you can say, when you visit someone in Japan, you aren't supposed to arrive early. Okay? Another example, another way of saying expectations, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. So, prácticamente son como reglas de ética. Now, I want you to focus on this. When you, if you. Okay, so esas palabras son clave. If you or when you. Okay, so vamos a usar estas when you and if you. Okay, if you want to, if you have to, you know. And then focus on the vocabulary. It's a custom too. It's a custom too. Es una costumbre, right? Eh, or maybe querés prohibir algo. You aren't supposed to. You aren't supposed to. Uh, for example, in Japan, no sé si ustedes eh, se han dado cuenta que los japoneses no se dan la mano, right? They don't shake hands. Okay, what do they do? They bow. Okay, so you aren't supposed to shake hands. I can change it. Uh, you are expected, tener la expectativa, expected. Supposed to, otra vez, esa palabra, supposed to, en forma positiva. And if I want to talk about the social rules, it is acceptable or in negative, it is not acceptable. Okay. So, ustedes van a usar este vocabulary. Let me, let me take a picture. Y se lo voy a pasar en WhatsApp. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to make rules, uh, así como costumbres, ética, about here, about El Salvador. Okay? Maybe you want to teach someone that's going to visit El Salvador and you want to tell them about our customs, our traditions, our etiquette, okay? So, van a, van a trabajar así en los grupos otra vez, groups of three, the same groups that we were in. And you're going to try to make rules, okay? Dar consejos, hacer algunas eh, reglas, usando ese vocabulary, all right? About El Salvador. Teaching like a foreigner, un extranjero, okay? Telling them about our customs. All right, so let's go to groups. You can do this, work on the next exercise. Eh, lo pueden hacer speaking, lo pueden hacer writing, if you want to write, okay? So let's go to the groups. Okay, let's go to groups. Let's go to groups now. Okay, very good. Eric, Andrea, are you there? Yes. Okay, so in WhatsApp, I put a picture there that you can see. Okay. Uh, there is some vocabulary that we can use there. If I am visiting El Salvador, right? Digamos que yo soy de Australia, right? I am completely from another place. What are some rules some customs that you can tell me about? Mm. 
Um, you're expected to eat pupusas with your hands. Okay, so okay, so you can say, ¿cómo, cómo escribirías eso? Uh, when you, I, así usando el cuadritos, no sé si te, está viendo ahí la, la foto, picture, en WhatsApp. Ah, uh, yeah. When okay. you visit El Salvador, you're expected to eat pupusas with your hands. Okay, very good. All right. When you visit some, uh, Salvador, you are expected to. Okay, yeah. very good. Maybe you can also change it too, right? If when you go to a restaurant in El Salvador, right, you can change it there. Okay, so ahí está la primera, Andrea. Very good. So I want you to make a list. Eric, are you there? Yes. I'm so maybe make a list of maybe 10 different things that you can tell me about okay la pueden escribir ahí en el chat okay if you want to you can write it in, in the chat here in zoom to share so try to give me maybe entre una cinco y diez um expectations thousands, thousands of or expectations from el salvador uh, ex expectations in El Salvador, correct. Something that, that you can get uh, recommendations, kind of. Okay. Mm. Okay. Tienen una? So, yes. Yeah, what do you have? You can, you can say that the, the idea that you said before, it was really good about pupusas. Yeah, I said that if you want to eat pupusas, you're supposed to eat it with your fingers. Very good. Okay. Very good. So, ahí está la primera. One. Yeah. Number one. It's right there. So, try to give me maybe, give me five to ten different, uh, different rules, right? Como si estuvieran me dando consejos, digamos, yo soy de Japón, I am from Japan, and I don't know anything about El Salvador. Maybe you can give me uh, advice. Okay. Workplace or at school, um, you're supposed to make this person comfortable with the group. Okay. Uh, in, in my car. If you want to get married, you are supposed to get a new house. Okay. Customs. So, traten de darme with like five to ten different customs and, oh. and uh, expectations, okay? Expectations. Um. If you are invited to a party, you are supposed to bring a gift. Oh, okay. Very good. What about when you're invited to someone's house? Uh, what should you bring? Maybe some food or something to drink. Okay. A salad okay. or a dessert. Okay, very good. A dessert or maybe a uh, pan dulce. You just say uh, yeah. sweet bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To so have coffee, to drink coffee. Yeah. Um. I guess that <clears throat> I can't remember another customs. Not even in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Think about um. How do we what? shake hands? How do we shake hands in the Salvador? ¿Cómo se saluda la gente? <laughs> we kiss our cheeks if we are friends. Okay, so maybe you can say that. How would you say that? Um, in El Salvador, when... Sorry. Uh, 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 it's acceptable to kiss the cheeks if you are friends when okay. you... I don't know. No, I don't remember how to say cuando te saludas. Uh, when you greet, greet. When you greet. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. And there you have another one there. Okay. When you go to eat pupusa, is the custom to eat with your hands? Very good. That's another one. That that one's important. Very good. Very good. Yes. So ahí tiene cuántas? Mm, like four. Okay. La están escribiendo. Yes, in the chat, in the chat okay. we have uh, around five of them. Okay, Alex said, some time ago, if you wanted to have a date with a girl, you were expected to bring a bundle of firewood for her parents' first. I don't know what it means that. Uh, uh, you expect uh, flowers? Um, bundle of firewood. 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 I don't know what's that. I don't know what that is. Firewood? Fire weed. Like fire and W E E D. Fire weed. Yeah. Weed is. <laughs> I know what is weed. <laughs> okay. Un manor de leña. Firewood. 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 Okay. Hey, man. That's. ¿Quién, ¿Quién inventó eso, Alex? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I have an idea. When you, <laughs> in El Salvador, when you want to make a girl your girlfriend, you take her to a date with flowers. Okay, so ahí, solo, ¿qué vamos a usar? Custom, supposed to, expect to. Uh, you are supposed to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we're gonna do this for five more minutes, and then uh, you can put you can put them if in the chat if you want. I'm gonna okay. chat the the WhatsApp. Okay. So that we can read some of those. Okay, I'm gonna. Write. American dollars. You're going to buy something or, huh? You have to use the dollar. You're supposed. Okay. You're supposed to use dollars. Pay. Pay with dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, other customs that you can think of. What about when you go and someone invites you to their house? Uh, do you bring food? Do you bring sweet bread? Do you bring coffee? Yes, sweet bread. Okay, so how can you say it? Yeah. Yeah. In the afternoon, it's <laughs> you're you're expected to bring sweet food, sweet bread. Okay. What about uh, when you when you greet someone? When se saludan, do you shake hands? Do yes. you shout? Do you kiss? What do you do? Shake hands. Okay. Expected to shake your hands. Okay, so how do you think? Are you Complete, complete sentence. Your hands, mm -hmm. shake hands. No, pero ahí solo me está diciendo una palabra. So, when you meet someone, 
So ahí está. Finish. Each other. Ajá. Uh -huh. Finish, Each pero. Each other. Uh -huh. Or. Let me see. When you invite someone, you're supposed to pay for the, for example, for the meal. Mm -hmm. You're supposed. supposed to pay for the meal. Bye. Bye. Okay, very good. We're back. All right. Le voy a leer lo que Stephanie wrote. I think she was working. ¿Con quién estaba trabajando, Stephanie? I was working with Abner, Alex, and I don't remember. Ricardo. Ricardo. Sorry. Okay, perfect. So, uh, some of the examples, solo se voy a leer aquí. She says, they say, when people are talking, you aren't supposed to pass between them or interrupt them. Yes, right? Very good. When you visit someone's home, you're supposed to bring some dessert or sweet bread to drink coffee. Yes, very good. Number four, when you go to eat pupusas, you're supposed to eat with your hands. Very good. If you go to the stadium, you are supposed to eat <laughs> chuco meat. <laughs> okay, nice, very good. ¿Quién más? Chucho. ¿Quién quiere compartir? Some of theirs. Expectations. Eh, ¿Quién más estaba escribiendo? Por el grupo. ¿Ah? ¿Habían dos grupos más? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. ¿Quién más? Pablo, who was in your group? Yeah, I was with Gladys, I think, and uh, Saray, and okay. we were talking. For example, if you if you travel to Salvador, you are supposed to visit to visit, excuse me, some places like El Tunco, um, uh, the Coatepeque Lake, or okay. the Salco Volcano. Okay. Or, for example, if you are traveling on, on a bus, mm -hmm. you are supposed to be aware of, for your wallet or your purse from the okay. team. Okay, very good. Uh, Sarai says, she wrote here in WhatsApp, she says, when you visit Olocuita, you are supposed to eat pupusas. Very good. Excellent. Uh, do you have another one? You're going to buy something, you're supposed to pay with American dollars. Okay, if you're going to buy something, you're supposed to pay with American dollars. Very good. Okay, who, uh, who else? Another one? If you want to buy something, it's not a custom to make line. Yes, if you're going to buy something, it is a custom to make a line. Yes? Okay. Very good. Eh, ¿Quién más?
¿Quién más? ¿Quién, ¿Cuál fue el otro grupo? ¿Andrea? ¿Cuál fue el otro grupo? I already said one, one sentence of, of, of us. Oh, ok, can you, can you repeat? Yes. Yeah, when you pay, when you buy, buy something, uh, you're supposed to pay with American dollars. Ah, ok. Es, eh, ¿Alguien más? ¿Otro grupo? Ok, bueno, le voy a preguntar una a cada uno. Pablo, tell me one. Another one. Ok. Um, if you are in El Salvador, mm -hmm. it's the custom to, to drink a cup of coffee at 3 or 4 p.m. Yes, yes, the coffee time. Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, Stephanie, give me another one. Hi, um, I, mean, I was thinking, um, in El Salvador, on Sundays, you are supposed to eat pupusas for dinner. Okay, very good. Okay, think about uh, what do you normally eat for breakfast? What do you, uh, how do you shake hands with people? How do you greet someone? Uh, how do you treat the elderly? Los ancianos, como lo tratamos a ellos, the older people. Uh, okay, Gladys, give me another one. I was going to say about pupusas. <laughs> okay. Um, Anything. What about birthday parties, weddings, traditions? Uh, when you when you eat your meal, you're supposed to say enjoy your meal. Okay, very good, excellent, Amner. Okay, when you go to buy something, is the cold song? To garbage with the seller. Okay, let me see if I heard you correctly. When you're going to buy something, it is a custom to garbage. Basura. And I saw and I saw bargain. Bargain. Ah, bargain, bargain. bargain. Yes. Bargain. If you're going to buy something, it is a custom to bargain with the seller. With the seller. Okay. Very good. Eric, Sorry. give me an example. Do you have one? Eric, Tahi? Yep. When you when you invite someone, you're supposed to pay the the bill. Yes, very good, very important. Okay. Uh, Andrea, do you have another one? Yeah, when you visit El Salvador, it's a custom to eat to put us at any time of the day. Okay, you can eat pupusas any time of the day. Ricardo, do you have an example, a suggestion? Um, yeah, maybe um, in El Salvador when you um, say hi or, or you, you, you are supposed to shake the hand and, and I don't know, you say puño. Eh, puño, eh, fist. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what's the correct way to say it. Bump fist. Okay. In El Salvador, um, when you shake hands, you are supposed to post fist. Bump fist. Bump okay. fist. Very good. Okay, Sarai, do you have another one? Okay, Sarai, uh, Alex, your turn. Do you have one? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. So tell me. Okay, uh, in Salvador, when teenagers have free time, it is a costume to go to. You go to the mall and walk just for fun. Okay. Very good. Very good, Alex. Excellent. Sarai, do you have one? Yes. If you go to the cinema, 
you are supposed to eat for crumb. Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. So that's basically the vocabulary. So uh, regresando al vocabulary for, for the, that lesson, expectations, you can say it is a custom to, or you can say you are supposed to in positive, or you aren't supposed to in negative, or it is acceptable. Nadie usó esa como ejemplo. It is acceptable or it is not acceptable. Okay? So you can use the vocabulary for that section. All right, very good. So le dejo con este video. Wait. Cultural differences uh, around the world. No, no, it's, it's this one. How do you shake hands in different different countries? India? Japan? Germany? China? Okay, very good. So there's a diff that's uh, the way that you can say hi in different countries, right? Cada uno tiene su diferente saludo, like Ricardo said, right? In El Salvador, we usually bump fists, okay? Between friends. All right, very good. So, uh, questions? ¿Alguien ta, eh, tiene alguna pregunta de la, del examen? Hmm? ¿Alguna sección del examen? ¿Alguna sección del de exercise uh, section 5? Do you guys have any questions? ¿Ahorita? No, no, thanks. Okay, so we have to finish a, a finish section 5. Ya casi la terminamos ahora. Uh, the test. And then start your, your process. You can start your registration process. Okay. All right. Eh, el proceso es el, el que estaba allí en el PDF que les mandé. Okay. So, cualquier pregunta, escríbanle a Jonathan acerca de, de la, nueva, la nueva modalidad o lo que le estaban ofreciendo así del, 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 del English for Work program or any other questions, okay? All right. So, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. Good night, good night everybody. Have a good, good night. night. Good night.